Absolutely. Uh, so, so important in Phoenix, especially with our blazing hot summers. And we're always looking for ways to stay cool, and that includes the kids. All right, kids, how are you doing today? All right. <laughs> well, they're focused on their lessons right now, and they're learning great tips, like using your hand as a little scooper to uh, carve your way through the water instead of having those hands open. Shelby, joining me this morning, how are you? Thanks for getting up early with us. I'm doing well. Thanks for being here at the YMCA. Uh, our pleasure. This is so important. Drownings are so preventable. And I was saying earlier that the number one thing you can do is get your kids lessons. Absolutely. Swim lessons are the number one thing that will help reduce that risk of drowning. So we teach them basic water safety skills like asking permission before they get in the water. It also helps them build confidence, lifelong healthy lifestyles, um, and we want them to have that healthy love and respect of the water. Not be afraid of it, you know, being able to, as, um, remind me of the instructor's name? This is Mr. Leo. Mr. Leo really just getting these kids acclimating, uh, making sure that they're not fearing the water, they're listening, they're paying attention, but saying, hey, this is not something to fear, you can do this and be around it and be okay. Yeah, it's absolutely important that we integrate that element of fun in the lessons and start with basics like asking permission before they get in, blowing bubbles, learning how to float on their front and their back. Some kids never learn to swim because their parents don't know how to swim. Talk to me about how generationally this can be an issue for some families. Yeah, actually over 50% of United States adults don't know how to swim currently, so there is that generational fear in families to put their kids in swim lessons, but we want to encourage people to get started with swim lessons now, and it's never too late to learn how to swim. You said 50% of adults over do not know how to swim. Wow. Correct, yes. My goodness. Um, a problem for some families is cost. That's a barrier, understandably. Things are very expensive, but you guys uh, have programs to try to help families who maybe need a little assistance to make these swim lessons happen. Absolutely. So at the YMCA, we believe that everyone deserves the chance to learn how to swim. So we do have financial aid available. It's based on income, and we want to make sure that every person of every age has that opportunity. So, so important. Thank you so much, Shelby. We're going to be talking with uh, the Y all summer long. I mean, I, I was blessed to uh, have lessons as a kid. It was just like something you did in Phoenix in the summer. You had to learn how to swim. It's not the case with every family. The Y is here to help to try to make sure you have those necessary skills. Think of it as driving lessons. You know, your kid uh, turns 16 or whatever, has to have driving lessons. If they're a kid and they're around water, they have to have those swim lessons. You are right about that, Ian. To download your free water watcher tag, all you have to do is head over to our website, azfamily.com.